Hi, Clint Ash, Crispy Wine and Spirits. In this video, I want to talk about aeration and decanting. When we aerate wine, it's simply bringing air into the wine to kind of round out the wine, take the rough edges off. It opens up the wine, brings out that bouquet, a little more pronounced. You notice a lot more aromas. Um, much the same way we do in food pairing. That's why Cabernet and steak go so good together. The fatty acids in the steak really takes some of the stringency out of the tannins in the wine. Um, aerating does quite the same thing. Bringing air into it makes it a little less astringent. Um, as I said, kind of takes the rough edges off, but it really opens up the wine and brings those aromas out. You can decant a few different ways. We have a crystal decanter here, which is what I like to use. You could use these little aerators that um, you can find at the big box stores or online. And you can even simply aerate right into the glass. And we'll talk a little bit about doing that at the end of the video. First, let's talk about decanting. As I said, decanting is my preferred method of getting air into the wine. Uh, you simply have a decanter of this size or they make even really long ones that swirl through the glass and get a lot of air into it. And really, the shape or the price really isn't that big of a, a, an issue. It's just a matter, in fact, this one isn't all that expensive. It is crystal, but um, I just prefer this one. It's easy to handle. It works well around the house. Uh, you pour the wine into the decanter. And as you do, it spreads out and it provides a big base that gets lots of air. Don't be afraid to go ahead and swirl the wine a little bit. Get that air in there and set it aside. We've decanted wines for you know, three hours. You can decant for 30 minutes, an hour, three hours. Um, I've even talked to people that have decanted overnight. The thing to remember here is you just want to get enough air into it that you're opening up that bouquet and you're taking off kind of a little bit of that astringency in the wine. Um, even the less expensive wines, they're probably better to be aerated with something like this, but even lesser expensive wines can be de uh, aerated or decanted. Uh, it's totally a personal preference. Typically though, when we're talking about aeration, we're talking about wines that have been laid down for a while, older wines, and some of the more expensive wines. If it has been laying down for a while, you might find something like this useful as well. This is simply a funnel with a screen in it, and the screen will help block some of the sediment as you're decanting the wine. What's nice about this funnel, though, is it also provides another layer, layer of aeration. So as I pour into the decanter, you'll see that it comes through here and runs down the side of the neck. It's also aerating as it goes down into the decanter. So that's just another level of variation, and I think it works really well. We actually use it quite a bit. The second method of getting air into your wine would be these small aerators that we talked about. Many of them, there's all kinds of different versions of this online and in the big box stores. Uh, this particular one, you take and you put over the top of the glass. And as you pour it into the glass, I don't know if you could hear that on video, but you can hear it moving through this funnel and the air actually getting into it. And you can see it bubble down here as well. That's an inexpensive, easy way to get air into your wine as you're ready to drink. The third way to aerate is simply in the glass. We'll take the glass, pour just until it kind of starts to, uh, to bulge out in the wine glass. You don't want to pour super full because we're going to swirl this. And as you swirl it, you are bringing air into the wine. It actually, calls, it's called volatizing the esters. You're, you're agitating all those esters and aromas and you're bringing out the bouquet in that wine. And if you've ever gone to wine tastings, you'll see people swirling their wine constantly. And it is, there is some, is a legitimate way to get air into the wine. And as you drink, keep swirling, keep getting air into it. See how it evolves over the course of dinner or uh, drinking the wine after dinner or whatever it may be. Um, but there's nothing wrong with uh, using both. I, you know, you could use these uh, to decant if it's something that's ready to drink now. 
go ahead and use that. And as you're drinking throughout the night, swirl the wine and, you know, get it underneath your nose. Smell it, see what the aromas are and see how a bouquet, the bouquet opens up over dinner or throughout the night. If it's a special bottle or something that you're not going to drink now, sometimes we open bottles that we drink with dinner and we decan a nicer one for later that sets through dinner or, you know, a couple hours. Uh, try, play around, try each method, different types of wines. Remember, we really only decant red wines. White wines, their bouquet will open up as they warm up a little bit. A lot of people tend to drink white wines too cold, but when we're talking about decanting and aerating, we're really talking about red wine. I hope you find this helpful. Uh, enjoy trying each one of these different methods, and uh, we'd like to know what, how it affects your wines and what you think of each method. Clint Ash, Crestview Wine Spirits. I'll see you in the next video.